This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Okay, now this is the second of two lectures on decision trees. So I hope you've made sure you are happy about the way I've drawn it, the way I've costed it, because now we're going to go through and actually decide what the decisions would be. So let's go back to the tree and let's look at these various options. You know, our main decision as of now is shall I shut or shall I refurbish or market research? Well, shutting, we know what the outcome is. It's five million. The question is whether the other three uh, give us more or less than five million. Well, expensive research, of course, we've got the uncertainty. We pay out four, we might get back 13 and a half, we might get back six and a half. And so, in the normal way, whenever there's uncertainty, we'll replace the uncertainty with the expected value. And I'll label the points, what colour shall I use, green? So at point one, remember at point one, we've paid out four million. But what will we get? I'll show my workings. We'll either get 13.5 million or we'll get 6.5 million. We know the probabilities. There's a two-thirds probability of getting six and a half, uh, 13 and a half, a third probability of getting 6.5. And, and so we'll remove the uncertainty. We'll replace it with the expected value. So as always, multiply by the probabilities and add up. So 13.5 times 2 thirds is 9. 6.5 times a third is 2.17. 11.17. And so I'm now going to say that if we do do expensive, we will pay out 4 million, but we'll get an expected 11.17 million. So I can now forget the 13.5 um, to six and a half. Effectively, my choice so far is either shut and get five million, or do expensive, which is gives us 11.17 minus four million, it will give us 7.17 million. But the uncertainty, I can now forget, I've replaced it with the expected value. In a similar way, what about here? Another option was cheap refurbishment. We only needed to pay out two million, but we're then uncertain. So we either get back 8.5 million or 4 million. The probability is again two thirds, one third. And so the expected return if we do the cheap, 8.5 times 2 thirds is 5.67. Let me check that, 8.5 times 2 thirds. Yeah, 5.67, or 4 times a third, 1.33. An expected 7. So it's the non expected value calculations. I'm not going to repeat all the logic of that again. Uh, but it does mean that if we choose cheap, we will pay out two and we'll get back an expected seven. So a net five million, seven minus two. Ah, oh, what about the next one though? Market research. Okay, a point two million. We know 68% chance it'll go, 32% will be poor. But I can't do what I've just done until I know what the return will be from good and poor. And I don't know what the return will be until I know what I will decide. You see, if you're doing market research and we're told it's good, well, the return we get depends on whether I'm going to decide to shut expensive or cheap. And so before I can look at how the benefit of market research option, I have to decide what I would do if that happened. 
If we did research and if we were told it was good, what would I decide to do? And so let me, let's look at that a little bit on its own. We'll either decide to shut and we get five million, or let me change the number. If it's expensive, we'll pay out four million, and how much do we get? Well, we either get 13 and a half or we get six and a half. The probabilities are 0 0.91, 0 0.09. So multiplying 12.29, but with about a bit of rounding, 0.5, oops, 8, 12.87. Uh, so the benefit of expensive would be 12.87. If we decide to do cheap, um, we'll pay out two million, another two million, but we'll get back either eight and a half or four. Again, probability is 0.91, 91%, or 9%, 0 0.09. Two gives us 7.74. Point three six or other point three six sorry eight point one. Now why am I doing this? Because I need to know what choice we make if we do market research and if we're told it's good. Well now I can decide if I label this A box A. What is my choice? At box A, with the choice to either shut and we get 5 million. You know, we've paid 0.2 million for the research, whatever happens. But having paid that, we uh, shut and get 5 million. Or we do the expensive. We'll get 12.87 million, but we'll have had to pay 4 million, so a net 8.87 million. Or we do the cheap. And if we do the cheap, we'll get back an expected 8.1 million. We'll have had to pay 2 million, and so we get 6.1. Now it's our choice. And so which would we choose if we ever got to that situation? We do market research, we say it's good. Well, obviously, we'll choose the highest. We'll choose to do expensive research. I'll mark it with a hatch line so I don't forget. And therefore, we know that the benefit of market research, if they tell us it's good, we know we'll end up with 8.87 million. Uh, similarly though, what about if they tell us it's poor? If they tell us it's poor, we then have to make a decision. We either shut and get five million, or, what number am I up to? Number five. Uh, we do, uh, the alternative do the cheap refurbishment, and either get Good result, poor result. So 0.5. Good result, eight and a half million. Poor result, four million. Probabilities, 0 0.13%, 0 0.8787%, 1.11, 3.48. So 4.59. Oops. Uh, and so, what decision would I make at point B, where it's our choice? At B, well, I think I hardly need write down, surely. Uh, we, uh, I'm not going to write down. Um, it's our choice. 
we're either shutting up five million or we do a cheap refurbishment. We pay out two million to get back 4.59 million, a net 2.59. I think fairly obviously we would choose to shut. And therefore, if we do market research, if they tell us it's poor, we know what the return would be because we'd shut. We know we'll get five million. All right, now we're almost there, because if you go back to market research, if we decide we pay out 2.2 million, but there's uncertainty, they'll tell us one of two things, but we now know what each of those two results are worth. So we know at point six, we know if we do market research, I'm running out of space, so it's terrible. If we do market research, we either get, where are we? This is point, oh, I've lost it, six. Uh, they either tell us it's good and we get 8.87, or they tell us it's poor and we'd be shutting, so we get five. And the probabilities, they tell us it's good is 0.68, they tell us it's bad is 0.32. And so the expected benefit of doing the market research, 6.03, 1.6, is 7.63. So 0 0.6, 7.63. And all the later bits we can uh, for the moment forget. We know if we do the market research, about 0.2 million. But because of the later decision that we use making, we do know that the benefit of doing market research will get back 7.63. Now, finally, we can go back to our first decision. Uh, where I'm actually labelling, I'll call it C. C. Now I can decide which of the four things to do now. Let's list them and make sure. One option is to shut immediately, so this is C. And if we shut, we get five million. Or the second option was to do the expensive refurbishment. Expensive refurbishment, we pay out four and get back an expected 11.17. And so a net 7.17. Or we do the cheap refurbishment. The cheap refurbishment we pay out two and get back seven. A net five million. Or finally, we do market research. A market research, we pay out 0.2 and get back 7.63. It's our choice and we'll pick whichever is the best of those four. The best is in fact to do the market research, 7.43. And so there we are. Although strictly the full answer is this, we will do mother market research I hope you're clear why. But remember, because we're doing market research, there is another decision will have to be made later, depending on what they tell us. And so the full answer, we should really write that down. Um, they give us two answers. So if there is, if they, if, sorry, if we're told good, then what would the, the, the decision? We carry on and do the expensive refurbishment.
or if told poor, what will we do? If they told us poor, uh, we decide to shut. So there's the full answer. The decision we make now, together with any future decisions. Now I warned you in advance, this was a very messy one, but deliberately because it's got everything in. If we can sort that out, if you're happy with what I've done, then you can do with anything. Uh, and just note, it doesn't affect the answer at all, but as I've uh, written below the um, example, this market research here is an example of imperfect knowledge. Perfect knowledge is when you have something like market research, and if they say it's good, it definitely will be good. If it's bad, this it'll definitely be bad. Um, well, the, the, the information you're getting is perfect. Imperfect knowledge is where, it's what's happened here, so they tell us it's good. It does mean it's much more likely to be good, but it's not perfect. They could be wrong, which of course is more realistic in real life. Okay, there we are.